What's up amigos? Hope you all doing well. Let's dive into the beard stash. I'm gonna take you through the journey of, in my opinion, what I think is the perfect length for a beard stash, or a few lengths that you can still get away and call it a beard stash. My mustache is a few months old and my beard's about three to four weeks. Obviously, I've been trimming the mustache. Even though it's longer, it's just kind of become a full beard. There's no disconnection or separation from the mustache to the beard to say it's a beard stash. So I'm gonna just do a few little tricks and to make it that you can still get away with calling it a beard stash. Right, I'm gonna use my favorite tool, the Brio Beardscape. If you're new to the channel, I've been using Brio for the I don't know, past four or five years. It's been so long that I don't even remember. Let me tell you what I really love about Brio. Super strong motor, sharp blade, cuts with precision to achieve those amazing looks. A variety of guards from 18 millimeters right down to three millimeters. And you can use it on your head hair, beard, and body. This battery lasts forever. I haven't charged this thing for, I don't know, a long time. And I use it very often as I change looks all the time. And it's got this cool feature. You can adjust the RPM and the blade to cut closer. Open, close for those nice sharp looks. Right guys, you get the message. I love Brio so much. Brio is the best streamer best value for money. Two year warranty, amazing customer service, 60 day money back guarantee. And Brio now has got like this zero gap blade. So to even closer when you're doing all your edges, click the link below to get this amazing deal. Brio are offering the blackout Brio or gray Brio and the free zero blade while stock lasts. So hurry up. All right, as mentioned before, my beard is pretty much uh, blending in with the mustache, which, which makes it just look like a full beard, even though it's way shorter than the mustache. So one of the tricks, uh, if I wanted to keep this length and still have a beard mustache, trim up a little bit, bring the, the cheek line down a little bit to the corner of the mustache of the lip there. It doesn't need to be like sharp, just bring it down a little bit. Anyway, you can shave there, then you're gonna get some mustache wax. And if you have enough length on the tips of your mustache, just use some on it. Mine is not quite there, but I think I can do something. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing right now, is great. try to create some separation by curling my mustache up above the line yeah it's almost there mine it's not long enough but i think you guys can get the idea by creating this separation you can kind of get away with calling it a beard stash i'd say maybe bring the line even deeper then there's more separation I think by creating this separation, obviously my mustache is maybe could do with a bit more length, but that you can get away with calling a, a beard stash, just bringing the line slightly deeper. So that's one way I would call this a beard stash but not the ideal look for me, not the uh, ideal length for me. I'm gonna use the one millimeter or two millimeter, I mean, sorry. I'm just gonna trim these shorter.
Make sure you get the mustache out of the way. Brush again. Some utility balm for the skin. Don't need much. And again, guys. Style that moustache whatever way you want. And voila guys, for me this is the perfect length of stubble to call it a beard stash. Like I said, you can get away with the others. Uh, I think they also look cool. And if you have really long tips, I think it will look super, super cool. And again, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Hey, I'm Mark. I think that Beard Brand Products and the Beard Brand Mission, they've really helped me kind of wear my beard and present it to the world in a way that, honestly, for the first time in my life, like, kind of makes me feel kind of handsome. You know, sometimes, but anyway, thanks guys.